Tesla's Model Y has just received a significant upgrade, and we're here to spill the beans on two massive changes, one for Giga Shanghai and the other for Fremont USA. In fact, these changes are set to revolutionize the Model Y experience forever. Curious about what these latest updates are and how they'll impact the future of this remarkable vehicle? Stay with us to uncover the exciting details. Last weekend, something quite unexpected happened at Giga Shanghai. They gave the interior of the Model Y a makeover. There were no hints or rumors about this beforehand, making it a delightful surprise. One notable change is the introduction of ambient lighting along the dashboard column. No longer will you find the same old material for the black or white interior. Say goodbye to wood trim. Instead, they've opted for a gray mesh fabric. What's interesting is that, based on online images, it seems to be the same color whether you choose the black or white interior, reflecting Tesla's commitment to manufacturing simplicity. Now, the ambient lighting may not be as significant a change as the one we saw in the Model 3, but it's certainly a nice touch. It's customizable, similar to how the Model 3 offers ambient lighting, although not quite the same way. It makes you wonder if Tesla is trying to avoid the Osborne effect, Instead of shutting down the Model Y production line for months to refresh it with all the new features, they might be rolling out updates bit by bit. Perhaps they'll start with ambient lighting, then a few months later, update the headlights and taillights, and so on. We can't say for sure what their strategy is, but it's worth noting that Giga Shanghai typically gets these features first, followed by the North American market. So, if you're excited about ambient lighting on your Model Y's dashboard, it might be worth the wait. But that's not all. There's more to this Model Y update. They've also given the Gemini wheels a much darker look, which, in our opinion, is a vast improvement. If you're like us and prefer darker rims over lighter ones, you'll appreciate this change. Giga Shanghai not only serves China, but also exports Model Ys to Australia and Europe so there's a good chance these options will become available in other countries that receive vehicles from China. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. The rear-wheel drive Model Y is making a comeback in the United States. It feels like it's been ages since it was last available, and it disappeared from the site shortly after its brief appearance back in 2021. However, this new version isn't an exact match for the original standard range Model Y, which had a 244-mile range. Instead, this new iteration boasts a 260-mile range. This new rear-wheel drive Model Y is intriguing for several reasons. First and foremost, it's crossed the threshold of what Elon Musk considers an acceptable range, clocking in at 260 miles. Elon has been vocal about his belief that Tesla vehicles should have a range of 250 miles or more. However, it's essential to note that this range might dip slightly if you opt for the 20-inch tires. But here's the kicker. The 0 to 60 mph time for this new $44,000 Model Y is slower than its predecessors, coming in at 6.6 .6 seconds. When we dive into the tech specs, we find that the vehicle still weighs well over 4,000 pounds. However, the peak charging speed is an impressive 170 kilowatts. While we don't have official confirmation from Tesla yet, as no one has taken delivery of this new rear-wheel drive Model Y, there's a suspicion that this might be equipped with a lithium iron phosphate, LFP, battery chemistry. This hunch arises because, back in 2021, when Tesla had the standard range Model Y with 2170 cells, it was significantly lighter, weighing under 4,000 pounds. In contrast, this new model is only 200 pounds lighter than the long-range version, which features a larger battery pack and unlocks a 330-mile range. Given the weight, 0 to 60 time, and charging speed, all signs point to this being an LFP Model Y. But we can't say it's confirmed just yet. Now, if it is indeed an LFP Model Y, it could be a game changer. LFP batteries typically offer higher cycle life, which means they degrade more slowly over time. This could translate to less range loss over the years, a significant advantage for long-term ownership. Furthermore, it's worth noting that unlike the Model 3's entry-level variant, this Model Y doesn't come with a partial premium interior. 
Instead, it features the HEPA air filtration system and the premium sound system, just like the long-range version. So, apart from a somewhat lower range, if the battery speculation is correct, you're getting a fantastic deal with this new rear-wheel drive Model Y. In terms of the interior build, features, and quality, this new rear-wheel drive Model Y maintains some of the key elements that have made the Model Y a standout choice. It still comes equipped with a powered liftgate, providing convenience for loading and unloading. Furthermore, as per the information available on Tesla's website, this Model Y still qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit, a feature that wasn't available the last time Tesla offered a standard range Model Y in the US. Now, when you consider these incentives, this new Model Y might just be the most affordable Tesla ever made. This is a significant development, especially considering that the Model Y was already a best-selling vehicle globally and the best-selling non-pickup truck in the United States. With the addition of this more budget-friendly option, Tesla's Model Y sales are bound to surge even further. This is particularly exciting as it aligns with Tesla's ambitious goal of delivering over 1.8 million vehicles by the end of the year. Achieving this target will require a record-breaking quarter, and Tesla is known for pulling out all the stops during their end-of-quarter pushes. They often increase incentives to boost demand, offering free supercharging or free full self-driving FSD packages to entice buyers. This strategy tends to be effective in spurring sales. However, if you're considering holding off on your purchase, there's something crucial to note. The estimated delivery window for this new Model Y is already extending towards the end of 2024. Additionally, next year, the tax credit is slated to convert into a point-of-sale rebate, which means it's not just a credit off your taxes, but a direct reduction based on the actual vehicle purchase price when you take delivery. However, it's important to be aware that the IRS may change the battery material requirements for eligibility. As of now, we don't have confirmation on whether the lithium iron phosphate LFP Teslas will still qualify under next year's requirements. If they don't, the point-of-sale rebate could drop to $3,700 instead of $7,500, or in a stricter scenario, there might be no federal incentives at all. Nonetheless, it's worth noting that many states offer their incentives, which could still make purchasing a Tesla an attractive option. Colorado, for instance, provides substantial state incentives for electric vehicle buyers. So, while the federal landscape may change, there are often local incentives that can make electric vehicle ownership more appealing and economical. This new Model Y option is turning quite a few heads, and for good reasons. Firstly, the tax credit of $7,500 is a significant incentive, something that wasn't available in previous iterations. With this credit factored in, it could potentially make this Model Y the most affordable Tesla model ever. Looking at the features and quality of the interior, it maintains several of the elements that have made the Model Y popular. The powered liftgate is a handy feature, providing ease of use for loading and unloading. However, it's essential to keep in mind that the estimated delivery window for this model is already pushing towards the end of 2024. This coincides with the federal tax credit transitioning into a point-of-sale rebate next year. The rebate will be based on the actual vehicle purchase price when you take delivery. Yet, it's uncertain whether the IRS will modify the battery material requirements for eligibility. If they do, the point-of-sale rebate may drop to $3,700 instead of $7,500, or even vanish entirely if the requirements become stricter. But even with the potential changes in federal incentives, it's worth noting that many states offer their incentives for electric vehicle buyers. By plugging in your zip code on Tesla's website, you can explore the local incentives available in your area. Now, let's circle back to the Model Y. It's a vehicle that sometimes seems overshadowed, given the buzz around the Cybertruck and Project Highland. While the Model Y may not get as much attention, it's a compelling option. One can only hope that Tesla considers bringing some of the exciting updates from Highland to the Model 3 and Model Y in the US. While an ambient light bar on the Model 3's dashboard is a start, there's room for more enhancements. Ventilated seats, for instance, are a highly requested feature. China seems to be ahead of the curve, with the big Model 3 refresh and now the ambient lighting in the Model Y. It feels like we're playing catch up with Shanghai. 
the reintroduction of the LFP Model Y is a positive step, though we're still waiting for confirmation based on performance metrics. So what are your thoughts on this new Model Y option? Will it become the new bestseller, or will buyers still opt for the more expensive long-range version? How crucial is all-wheel drive to buyers? Share with us in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.